Welcome back to the Daily Night Show. Haven't been here for a while. A while. We're going to be doing some unboxing. You've heard of boxing. This is the opposite. Um, so I've got a 1993 Model M keyboard. I love it. But I need to replace it. I have replaced it because the R key is uh, sticky. Okay. I could probably fix it. You know, pop the R key off. Um, I've, I've kind of done that, tried to blow the dust out, that kind of thing, but it's still, you know, every 20th R that I type, I get a double R. I'm not throwing it away, I'm definitely going to repair it, but I, I just, I can't have an unreliable keyboard. So I'll probably type my novels on that, but when it comes to like, I can't proofread on a keyboard that, that you know, yeah. So I've replaced it. If it sounds like there's a dog dying over there, uh, my dog is sleeping and she's currently dreaming. And when my dog dreams in her sleep, it seems to always be nightmares because she's like, <coughs> she's doing a bit. Oh, I just woke her up. Crisis averted. Okay, sleep. Sleep. You want to say hello? Come here. Come on. All right, this is happening. Ah, <laughs> oh, you lazy thing. Oh. What? I'm seeing double. Four loopers. So, replacement keyboard. What have we got to replace the best ever keyboard? Uh, I'm a big believer in Japanese uh, engineering. So I got the best Japanese keyboard on uh, that they, they make. All right, let's get into this thing, eh? Mm. All right, what is it? It's the Topa, um, where's the Topa? Topa, Real Force uh, 87U, 87 keys, so that means it's got like 10, 10 keys less? It's called a 10 key list, so I guess it has 10 keys less. But what it doesn't have is um, the numpad, this whole bit is off. And the reason for that is like it's more ergonomic, because what you want is these keys to be, um, like this is where your hands are. So this is where you want you want to be central as possible. Like documents here, and then your hands are like there, right? Uh, so you want this. It's not really you want the keyboard centered to the screen. You want these centered. So without this, it's easier to have those keys centered to the screen, and then you can still have your mouse without having to have the mouse all the way over here. It can kind of go where that would be, right? <laughs> I don't know. Anyone gives a shit about this? There's one thing I'm enthusiastic about, it's ergonomics. Oh yeah. Let's open this bad boy up. How am I gonna do this so you can see? I'll do it like a, it's like a pizza box. Mm. Cooked to perfection. Oh, what I'm gonna do by the way, is I'm gonna, I'll give you a, a, a listen test. Cause really these good keyboards are all about like, what do they sound like? You know? So I'll, I'll, I'll hook you up. Now, so, why did I want this keyboard over the um, IBM? This has got uh, weight, weighted keys um, that go, as you go further out, like your middle, main thing is in the middle there, a bit harder pressure, out to the sides they're softer, so it's like when you're using your weak little pinky fingers, you don't have enough, you don't have enough fingy strength to push this one, so you've got, you've got a little fingy strength, it's out these sides weaker ones so your fingy strength holds up. They all feel about the same though. They're nothing like, I mean compared to these, these have got a really hard um, push strength, what do they call it? Resistance I suppose. All right. So now with this, I can put my mouse there. What? That's awesome. You know, you don't use this a lot in word processing. You do use it a lot if you're doing office admin stuff with a lot of numbers, but when, you, when you're typing novels, editing novels, that kind of thing, you can live without that. The one key that the um, Model M doesn't have, my one, it doesn't have the context menu key there. Uh, it actually doesn't have the Windows keys either, but I can live without the Windows key, but the context menu key, which is um, this one, uh, I don't know, I don't know how well that's focused, but that's like the drop down menu key, uh, and I use that a lot. 
um, in word processing so much that I actually remapped this keyboard to have that um, <clears throat> and I'll show you why that's so useful um, in a minute uh, we'll start with the um, Model M now another thing I like about the Model M is this little lip along here um, where you can store pens and these things which probably no one knows what that is if you know what that is gross <laughs> if you know what it is comment have a guess all right um, keyboard, click, bag. now the reason I like the context menu key is if you go onto a word that you've spelt wrong and press it it brings down the options so for example this one board order order so you go, boom. the old hey and this one's gonna be a lot quieter because it doesn't have those springs in the um, keys but let's see how we go here so these has actually it does have springs but it has rubber domes mixed with springs uh, so it doesn't have that click it has it has more like a thump a thump a thock a thock is what they call it thock 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 is a very very um like compared to that that's very mechanical and clicky and you get a real clink 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 every time you um press a key where this one feels very kind of um slippery like liquid liquidity liquidity <laughs> That like nice deep kind of thumpy do 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 do. So I can feel um my immediate feelings between the two is that this this is less impact less like. You know, I type for so long, I get sore shoulders and back and everything. Even with a good chair and a good setup, I think it's because of my crappy technique. But this just feels less um, less stressful on your hands. So when I really get going with typing, it it, um, it becomes more like this mashing technique, <laughs> uh, which doesn't work so much on the Model M on a keyboard laptop. Like my Mac Air laptop, it's just like just like hand mash. Where I feel like this is gonna be this is gonna be good for a hand mash. It takes me a good hour to get my stride on with typing. I'm actually not a very good typist. Um, <clears throat> now you probably saw me delete a word immediately. Here's some tips, some word processing tips. You're probably not watching for that, but 
um, control delete deletes the word ahead and control backspace deletes the word back so delete gets rid of that back like that um, so when you're typing and you want to redo a word rather than going like oh I made a mistake in this word and made was what I meant if you just go like just like delete it and write it again is often quicker than trying to pick out the letter and delete it um, what was the other tip oh yeah the context menu I've already been through that you basically just hit it and then if you're pretty sure that the top result is going to be what you need like it's a real obvious typo you just go like boom boom and it's there like um, <clears throat> cool I guess I'll leave you with some typing The thing I keep doing is double typing the letters on the outside because I use my, I twist out my hands left and right to t like when I'm typing these rather than using my pinky because these ones are going to lower weight. I'm finding I'm double whacking them. Let me try touch typing. Much more ergonomic setup now without this massive keyboard that took up half my bloody desk. Um, if I type up a novel, I'd probably use that just because it's a bit like it's like when you use a typewriter, just because it feels more real, sort of thing. Alright, end of video. Theme song.